We are back at it again here with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors Welcome to the channel to all subscribers. Welcome back. Here we are with the spy the S&P 500 index Continuing a fight to hold support here above the 450 area and it wasn't the only stock experiencing volatility the overall market and Tesla did as well and our Tesla bot at 935 a.m. sent out a bear indicator and from that moment forward Outflows cross the midpoint to the downside, pure weakness there on 42 vision, and put options went up 150% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots, and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index trying to hold support we're going to talk about the key levels i would watch going into next week what's going on with the inflow versus outflow and bull and bear indicators but before we do I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run day was from our spy bot. Our spy bot sent out a bear indicator at 9.35 a.m. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index doing a full transition from the dip area of white with red borders to the rip area as I call it here of bright green bars. And if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts. And we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index under a bear indicator at around the 453 area and also sitting here with the outflows dominating in the second half of the day, guys. This is something to not ignore here because inflows tried bringing themselves up, quickly rejected, and here we are retesting the key support level from yesterday. Will it double bottom into next week or will it break it to hit newer lows and key support levels that we do not want to ignore and that's what we're going to break down in today's video so the first thing is these inflow versus outflows i would not ignore them they're crucial and critical they're currently below the midpoint but not just here on the 30 minute but also here on the one hour right but in this divergence of volatility bringing itself back up back down a bear indicator has been dominating here since yesterday at the 454 area it was a crucial area of resistance and multiple rejections here today at that level but inflows are trying to pick themselves back up 
definitely something to not ignore here on the one hour chart and this is critical and crucial because if these outflows go ahead and reject here to the downside from green to red and continue below the midpoint it could actually reflect that weakness even further into these charts definitely something to not overlook here but if these inflows continue to the upside it could start to roll that strength over here into the 30 minute by actually crossing over the midpoint canceling out this bear indicator with a possible bull indicator and starting to reflect that strength into these charts and the 30 minute will follow in the process of possibly getting these inflows back up and not just the 30 minute but also in the volatility of the 15 minute right it's been under a bear indicator all day at that 453.97 area multiple rejections there at that 454 area not that far off of that bear indicator outflows crossed over tried coming back up outflows dominated again here in the second half and here we are with inflows trying to pick back up and this is going to be crucial and critical to justify any strength to the upside these inflows will need to cross going into monday right i'm going to be watching that very carefully i would not ignore it it's going to be crucial here and a bear indicator needs to get canceled with a possible bull indicator within the volatility of the 15 minute and if these inflows pick up on the 15 minute it could possibly roll over here into the 30 minute and the one hour as well now what are the key levels i would watch well the first thing is support guys and the first support level here is 451.50 if that gets broken through the next support is down at the 450 area and then back down here towards the bull indicator that popped up at the 448.70 area I would just round it up to 449 that is the tight range i'll be watching to the downside if these outflows continue lower on the 15 minute on the one hour and also here on the 30 minute to reflect that weakness into these charts now to the upside like i stated earlier in the video it's going to be crucial and critical for these inflows to pick up here on the 30 minute and also here on the one hour as they're green to reflect any further strength to the upside here in these charts and also on the 15 minute as those inflows are trying to come back up this is going to be crucial and critical in the volatility to reflect any strength to the upside and try to roll over into the 30 minute to reflect that strength into these charts as well cancel out this bear indicator in the process and get those inflows up above the midpoint now the first resistance would be up here at 454 then above that comes the 455 area and then above that level i'll be watching the 457 to 460 area those are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and these bull and bear indicators are going to be crucial these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside as well as these inflow versus outflows i would not ignore them as they're trying to bring themselves back up on the one hour as they're green hasn't crossed yet and needs to cross to reflect any further strength into these charts it is under a bear indicator as well and on the 15 minute it's under a bear indicator and trying to get these inflows back up so i'll be watching that very carefully and if this 15 minute can cross over i'll be watching if that strength can go ahead and roll over here into the 30 minute to start pushing up closer to the midpoint as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money